Hey guys, this is Duncan, and here I here I am today with a uh, with a new application review, and, and this one is this is one of my personal favorites for for uh, my iPod, and it is called Galcon. Uh, I'm sure most of you will have heard of it before. Um, there is a light version in the App Store, um, and this is the paid version. And uh, I've I said I've said I'll say it again. This is definitely one of, if not my favorite application it is so unique and it's got such good gameplay and uh it's got so many just great things going for it it's almost anytime I've, i pick up my ipod i've got to i've got to play it. it it's that great um okay first what i'll do is i'll, I'll just run you through galcon uh the way it works is it's like it, it's it's a really unique game. Basically, what you are is you have planets. It's it's when you fire up everything, you have a, a whole row of planets, uh, and basically you start out with depend it, it, uh, depends on how many you actually start out with in the modes and stuff. But uh, basically, there's planets all around you, and usually your objective is is there is one mode that's different, but almost all the time is to basically to get rid of your opponents. And by doing that, what you do is there are a lot of planets around, and you send your uh, you send your uh, spaceships, I, I suppose, um, to to each of the different planets. And uh, every planet, the you'll uh, every planet that's gray is not is not taken, and it'll have a little number on it. And your 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 planets all will have numbers on it, which is how many troops you have there. And basically, you just drag you just touch them and drag it over. And you, you'll send all your troops over to the whichever planet you want. And then basically what it'll do is uh, once, like let's say there's a planet with, that says 10. Well, you, well, if you send 11 troops over there, you'll have it and you'll have one troop sitting there. And what it is is that they're different sized planets and they're all, all the planets have, need different, I mean, you could have a giant one that needs three and you have a small one that needs 50. I mean, it's it's totally random. But basically what you need to do is you need to grab planets to uh and when you put more troops on a planet, it, they regenerate. So it, like let's say you send 50 to a planet and uh it takes 20. Well, after a, a minute or whatever, you you'll have all yours grown back and it'll keep it'll keep rising. Um and basically, the objective of the game is to take out your opponents, and they will be having the same advantages and everything. Um, there's a couple of different modes, uh, one of which I'll I'll explain a little bit later. But okay, the main modes are classic, which that is in the light version. Um, it's basically just really basic, simple. There's you versus one other uh, computer opponent, and basically it's just fight them. Um, and now I will say that's the that's the version that's available in the light version. Um, so uh, and it's the light version is basically is really simple. All it is is just the classic mode. But I mean I would definitely I mean that, that's almost fun enough where you don't even need to buy Galcon. But you definitely you'll get so hooked because there's a lot of uh, cool things. Anyway, so there's classic mode. There's stealth mode. Stealth mode is uh basically in classic mode you can see uh what what your opponents like 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 if you have how many ever troops you can see how many they have and where whereas in stealth mode you cannot see them and basically it's just you've got you just see a planet it could have 10 it could have 100 you don't know until you attack it then there is vacuum which vacuum is a little different there you have no opponent what it is is that depending on what level there's ten, there's 10 different uh, difficulty levels depending on which level you have you start out in an empty field and you have your 100 troops on um, in your main planet basically you have 5 minutes 3 minutes 2 minutes whatever depending on the mode to take every single planet um and it, that's actually a lot of fun uh, it'll it'll kind of teach you um, it'll kind of teach you how to uh, how to expand and how to you know you know get big planets first and this 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 this. Next there is Beast. Beast is the most difficult mode in Galcon. Um, Beast is basically you can't see them and they. I don't actually know. You can't see how many troops they have, but I've got to imagine they have a lot more than you. It is extremely difficult, and once you get once you get uh, playing Galcon a lot, you'll definitely find that that's the mode you keep coming back to. Then there's three way, which is basically you versus a computer versus a computer, and you, it's no teams or anything. It's just everyone, and then which is fun because you know you wanna you don't wanna necessarily just go up against one. And then the best the best part of this game is online play. That is, it is really, really cool. 
And I mean, you it, playing com- against computers is nice, but when you start playing, it is actually really, really awesome. Um, and then with the latest update, because uh, the way the net games work is that uh, the format for everything is just uh, up to four, up to four uh, in one game. And basically, it's just you know just free for all, just go you know, everything, uh, no no special rules or anything. But the way, and you can't see how many uh, troops they have. But then the new update is two on two. So basically you can go and you can have a partner. And, you, and then you and your partner are up against an, uh, two other partners. And that really adds, and this was the recent update maybe a, a week ago. That really adds a really fun thing. Because then you have to think, okay, well, I can take this. But if I don't protect my partner, all this stuff. It's a lot of fun. So anyway, that was pretty long, but uh, I got—I was gonna say—the gameplay is awesome. Uh, I've personally never seen anything even close to Galcon. You will—you will just absolutely love it. I mean, it's unique, it's fun, um, it's got good graphics, not amazing or anything, but you for this kind of game, I mean, awesome 3D graphics and all that. It's just not—it's just not what you need. Um, it's just. Oh, I mean, I just, I, I know I'm just keep rambling about it, but the gameplay is just so much fun when you, I mean, you take the planets, you, uh, it, it, it <laughs> I just gotta say, before, Galcon, uh, right now is $3, but there's a light version, and, uh, I would definitely, definitely recommend, if you've never played before, go try it. Um, now, it, it just kind of will, it's kind of, uh, even though you have, you can play it as many times as you want, and it's just classic mode, definitely it, go try it. It's not nearly as fun as the full version with the net plan and everything, but it's still a lot of fun. Um, there's uh, also, uh, in the full version, uh, I'm, I'm just kind of skipping around trying to remember all, because it's pretty full featured. There's also local, so like let's say you and a buddy, or uh, we, you both have iPods or iPhones or whatever, you can play together. There's no two players on one device, but the way it works, it, that really would kind of be a little confusing because I mean, you have all fingers all trying to get all over the place. That really wouldn't work too well. But you can, uh, if you have a friend like nearby or whatever, you can play it. Um, and then all, there's also rankings. You uh, depend on how you win and lose. You also are everyone is ranked. And uh, let me tell you, there's some really tough, <laughs> tough things um, when you plan it. Uh, there's also some pretty good music and sound effects, but you probably, uh, you probably will probably just turn down the music. Um, well, I don't know, that's what I do, because it annoys people when you're playing games and stuff, but, uh, it's got good music, um, and it's got some good sound effects. One, uh, there's also one really cool feature, is there's a colorblind mode, because the way it works is that you're a color, and there's a lot of different colors, yeah, in the normal mode anyway. There's all kinds of different colors, and for if you're colorblind or whatever, that would really, uh, that really mess you up. So I, that's something pretty unique. I've I've only seen it in maybe a couple of other applications in the App Store. So that's that's a cool feature. Galcon is, uh, like I said, one of my absolute favorite applications. Just I mean, period. I mean, it is it is so much fun. There are so many different things you can do. I mean, it's every time you open it up, it's it's you're gonna have a new field, you're gonna have new everything. So it's it's a really a good challenge. And between the difficulty levels and the net game, everything, you will never be like, okay, I beat it, I'm done. I mean, it's 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 just really cool. Um, I would definitely recommend, absolutely go out and get the light version. Um, and then if you like the light version, and I'm sure I'm sure you will because it's it's just a lot of fun. Go go for it. It's uh it's three dollars right now. Um, it has been five dollars in the past, so I don't know if it's gonna go up or whatever. But yeah, I definitely highly highly recommend Galcon. Be sure to check out Zedric.com for the latest app reviews and iPhone and iPod Touch news. Thanks for watching, guys.